The cannon blasts through the goddess's shield as easily as iron through flesh. House Wolfort and the Asfrosti forces converge south of the capital. With their way in secured, they set their sights on the palace. Thus, the stage for the battle's final act is set. Archduke Gustadolf. King Serenon. Frederica, thanks to your fine diversion, we succeeded in blasting our way in as planned. The goddess's shield crumbled in a single blow. That cannon is a fearsome weapon. We used the explosives Dragan invented. They were originally devised for mining, after all. Pray we shall use them only for that purpose in the future. Indeed. I have no desire to see wars waged with these weapons on both sides. With the goddess's shield destroyed, the enemy will be preparing to flee. We must make haste to the palace. You shall go no further! Minister Kamsel, Minister Lila, it didn't take them long to reach us. The saintly seven are formidable foes indeed. We'll handle them, King Serenoa. You should make for the palace. Very well. No traitor shall set foot upon the palace grounds while we yet live. Then it seems your death is at hand. After them! Do not let them reach the palace! We must keep Wolfort's path clear. It's frosty. Charge! The goddess's shield has been breached. Hyzant is doomed. Calm yourself, Minister Tenebris. Have you no faith in the goddess? Do you not believe she will protect us? No, I mean... Yes, but... Have you had a chance to atone for your sins yet? No, not yet. I would do anything to be absolved. Then you are in luck. I have a very special role for you. A command from the very lips of the Holy One. The Holy One? Come, Minister Tenebris. Am I truly worthy of such an honor? That, I think, remains to be seen. You are to escort the Holy One to face the insurgents. Who face them? In battle? Why? So they may suffer the wrath of the goddess, of course. O oh, Holy One, let us gaze upon your countenance. What is this? Minister Tenebris. Who 
is that woman with him? <laughs> Serenoa Wolfort. The blame rests at your feet. Your meddling forced me into this position. Let us pass peacefully and you will come to no harm. You speak as if I have a choice. Unless every last rebel is killed, Minister Edor will kill me. Killing all of us is beyond even your capabilities. <laughs> he did not charge me with your executions. The Holy One will see to that. All I had to do was escort her here. That woman is the Holy One? I cannot say. None have actually seen the Holy One in the flesh. <laughs> then you understand what an honor this is. To witness not only her true form, but her true power. Suffer the wrath of the goddess! What are you doing? Run! Ah! What power is this? This destruction, this light, it's just like the Elfric. Lord Serenoa, I am not sure how it is possible, but I believe she has absorbed the power of the Blast Crystals. Is such a thing even possible? No, not for a human. Are you saying the Holy One is not human? We must retreat. No, Lord Serenoa. Huh? I do not deny we face an enemy unlike any we have faced before. But to withdraw now will allow Hyzant to recover its strength. I thought you believed in what the Salt promises. I thought you were resolved to do whatever it takes to forge a better Norzelia. The future is as strange and frightening as any foe. How can you be brave enough to change one when you flee in terror from the other? Be not afraid to fight for your chosen path, Lord Serenoa. We will fight beside you every step of the way. You speak true, Benedict. Take up your arms, my friends. We will strike down this so-called Holy One and Hyzant Wither!
My debt is not yet repaid. My friends, the final battle is upon us. We face a foe like none we've ever faced, but fear has no place in our hearts. We are the light that guides Norzelia out of the darkness and into a new dawn. Forward. So this is the manner of creature that blocks Lord Saranoa and Benedict's path. Whatever enemies I must face, I will fulfill my duty. You will not stop me for long! Suffer! Suffer! I feel stronger already. Maybe next time. Impressed? Here I come. My pride is my shield.
Let us pry out their weakness. This will serve well. For the future of House Wolford. Come at me! Show me what you're made of! shall prevail. Allow me. Thank you. So all that secret research the Ministry conducted was to create this abomination. A monster in human skin. To what end did Heisen create such a thing? Let me show you what I've learned. Make our ideals reality. Where was I? Defeat is not an option. Now I end this. For my kith and kin. This is the end. Try this. Ready? 
ready for battle. Try this. I needed that. Here I come. Not another step! I will fight to my last breath. A waste of effort. I shall try my level best. A brief respite. Ready to go. Cool heads shall prevail. My growth is plain to see. Time for some research. It wasn't just Alfred they researched in secret. This is another rancid fruit of their experiments. I shan't stand idly by and let our research be corrupted. This is everything I've got! My research bears fruit. <laughs> you won't beat me! Appreciate it. I fight for peace. Defeat is not an option. Not so fast. What? Your orders? For life. Yes! Oh, 
can't be! You've done it now! Ready for battle! I'll end you! That worked, huh? Have another! <laughs> Another one? Just how many does she have at her disposal? Striking down the Hierophant should put a stop to this madness. I will cut us a path through. Ah! Me too! Here I come. shall prevail. Let us steal our defenses. Perfect. My knowledge grows deeper. To think Norzelia bent to the whims of this unspeakable creature, human only in appearance. If it isn't human, then we've no need for mercy. Let us destroy it and end its tyranny. Wouldn't mind? Potion. Hmm. I've been waiting for this. what I've learned. And where shall we strike? Hit the mark. We win. No. Your orders. This is the end. Thank you.
What sort of inhuman creature was that? An automaton, or so I am told. Archduke Gustadolf, you survived. Naturally, Kemsel is dead. What remains of Hyzant's forces have surrendered. An automaton, you are told. By whom? A captured soldier. I can't believe you struck down the Holy One. Something tells me this spells the end for Hyzant, and the teachings of the Goddess both. Then that... thing was truly the Holy One. Yes, I built her myself, under Edor's orders. An artificial hierophant, brought to life by the power of Elfric. Why would he order the construction of such an odious thing? With an immortal Holy One as powerful as the Goddess herself, Hyzant could ensure the longevity of its faith. So Edor claimed. But in truth, she was meant to be nothing more than a soulless puppet. A tool Edor could use to bend Hyzant to his own will. Hyzant was supposed to be a land under the Goddess's protection, where people could live freely and equally. To think it was ruled by an empty doll this entire time! An absurd revelation indeed, but one that will cause the Goddess's faithful to break with Hyzant when they learn of it. I expect they will be much more inclined to join us after the war. And the Roselle? Do you think this will put an end to the prejudice against them? Ostensibly. There is still the Puppet Master himself to contend with. We must make for the palace and capture him. It is doubtful we will find Edor there. I expect he deployed the Holy One to buy himself time to escape. That is the kind of man he has always been. <sighs> With Hyzant fallen, he is not but a powerless old fool. There is nothing he can do, no matter where he flees. Victory is ours, King Serenor. I suppose it is. The battle for the Hyzantian capital draws to a victorious close for the Allied armies. Minister Lila, last of the Saintly Seven, signs her name to a peace treaty, effectively ending Hyzant's salt monopoly. The effects of this momentous occasion will ripple through all of Norzelia. With the Holy One's true identity revealed, the power of the Goddess's teachings crumbles, and the Roselle are freed from their enslavement at the Source. But their long enslavement and the stubborn prejudices against them make it difficult for many to start a new life. Still bound in the fetters of their suffering, they find themselves scattered throughout the realm. Meanwhile, Glenbrook and Esfrost join forces to abolish the consortium and salt taxes. They order the Grand Norzellian mines to open to the populace, giving people near and far access to the salt crystals. With the various applications of salt also made public, several laws are enacted to support merchants whose enterprise involves the mineral. When the people realize the new opportunities available to them, they rush to take advantage of them. For his hand in opening doors that had once been closed, Serenoa Wolffort's subjects admiringly refer to him as King Serenoa the Liberator. And so, a new era of freedom comes to pass. An era where any may access the salt needed to better their future, of booming trade and flourishing industry. Norzelia is reborn as a land where the power rests with her people. And yet, the gap between the haves and the have-nots grows ever wider. It is an era of great wealth, hand in hand with terrible poverty. The more some prosper, the more many suffer.
Lady Destra, with each hard-won victory he claimed, your son transformed our realm. Now he presides over all of Norzelia, powerful and peerless. I have no regrets. All there is left for me to do is atone for the way I used Lord Saranoa. This is the last time I shall intrude upon your rest. You will not take your life on my watch, Benedict. Lord Saranoa, what are you doing here? Did you not hear me? Preventing you from making a grave mistake. I need you by my side. No, you don't. I am no more than a wretch who used you for his own gain. I cared nothing for what would befall Norzelia or her people. I even deposed Prince Roland for my own selfish purposes. It was vengeance upon King Regna and Lord Simon for the way they treated Lady Destra like an object, and upon myself for being powerless. All I wanted was to clear my conscience for being unable to help her all those years ago. All I wanted, more than anything, was Lady Destra's good favor. To hear her tell me I'd done well. You've done well, Benedict. Huh? I understand how you're feeling, truly. For I feel it too. My wish to shepherd Norzelia and her people to an era of peace is genuine. But before the entire continent became my responsibility, I wanted only to prove myself worthy of the title of Lord Wolfort. That is the reason I have come this far. My mother and father, Roland and Frederica, my retainers, and you, Benedict. Everything I have done, I have done to prove myself to all of you. Lord Serenoa. What awaits our realm is anyone's guess. As one who paved the path we now follow, I must keep fighting to ensure we do not falter. So, tell me, Benedict. Am I not a man worthy of your assistance? There is none more worthy in all the realm. So long as there is breath in my lungs, my lord, I will do all I can to help you. And several new salt crystal deposits have been discovered. I see. We should tell the people what we know. All of it. If we do that, we'll drown in the flood of traders who come seeking mining permits from every corner of the realm. I expect so. Huet, I am trusting you to keep a sharp eye on the contracts and make sure everything is in order. Of course, my lord. We couldn't have planned this better. Salt Reliant Trades will prosper even more now. Your Majesty, I've caught the criminal that robbed and murdered those salt merchants. The man's a Rizelin, who lives in Old Town. He confessed to the deed, saying he did it to feed his family. Another criminal out of Old Town? And a Rizelin on top of that? Old Towns fall into squalor and poverty. There must be something we can do to turn things around. This isn't an isolated incident, Your Majesty. If we do nothing to help the impoverished, I'm afraid these crimes of desperation will only keep happening. Prejudice against the Roselle is alive and well. It forces many of them into hard, cruel lives. There must be something we can do to alleviate their suffering. There are systems in place to help the poor find work, and an edict forbidding discrimination against the Roselle. But we cannot show them any further favoritism 
they are not the only ones struggling to survive right now. Very well. Murder is a grievous sin, even if it is done in the name of one's family. Execute the Rosellan for his crimes. It shall be done. <gasps> a new day is dawning upon our realm, Frederica. If we are to earn the people's trust in this time of upheaval, we must hold everyone accountable to the law equally. Yes, Your Majesty. I will earn all of your trust. This I swear on Roland's name. I will make Norzelia a better place. To that end, I will fight until my dying breath. Admit the next petitioner. I'm sorry. Today's food supplies are exhausted. I shall bring more on the morrow. Please, brother. You're the only thing between us and ruin. I swear, we shall not forsake you. Try to stay strong. seek our aid by the day. We need more bread, or we'll never be able to feed them all. Meanwhile, merchants and nobles in the Crown City grow fat off their salt profits. Food isn't the only thing we lack. We need clothes, beds, medicine. It's but a matter of time until this rundown quarter is overrun with plague. Someone help me! I've got you, friend. You're all right. Oh, my lord! This is where you've been. <clears throat> Pray see me to my rest. You have such beautiful eyes. Rest in peace. I hear them. My lord? I hear them, loud and clear. The cries of people shoved out to margins of this new Norzelia. Soft as rain now, but soon. Soon they will be a tempest. One that will rage across all the land. Do you hear them, Saranoa? Their voices. And mine. <laughs> <laughs> 